We're missing something. Hold on. I left my tea up there on my bookshelves. It's so much better. Okay. Now that we have tea, let's begin <laughs> with the video today, shall we? Hello my beautiful book dragons, welcome back to my channel. In today's video we're going to see something that is very important to our reader, which is the way that we choose to one, keep track of my reads, but for me it's a little bit deeper than that. I just don't want to track them, I want to talk about them, I want to see what other people think of them, I want to see the rating to see if this is something that I actually want to read or not especially with new releases, new authors, things that I haven't read. Reviews are very important to me, not just like the stars or the rating system, but also the written reviews out there because I want to make sure that if someone didn't like a book because of a certain element that I really love in books, then maybe it is for me or vice versa. So to me, having a system to connect with other readers is very, very important. Whenever someone asks me like, what the hell is Goodreads? Because a lot of the time I'm in there just like searching, looking at other people's stuff. Um, I do get this question from people that don't read a ton and the best way for me to like explain this to others is to just say that Goodreads, it's like Facebook but for people that read. So I love that in Goodreads you can just like share your status if you want. I don't do this a lot because I don't feel that important <laughs> to be doing this, but you do you, you can do a lot of stuff. I also really like that we can have groups. I am in a couple of them and you can just like have little reading groups and then inside a month you can just like have a certain books that you have. I am on one that just reads classics and I love that. I don't always participate, but I try to my best to like keep up with them. And even if I don't, it's nice because they always have lists of books for you to like select which book we will be reading in that month and I always find new stuff that I didn't know was out there which I love I like the recommendations that it gives me but I know from a lot of people especially on book twitter a ton of friends and readers in there have been a little bit concerned about goodreads one they have not really done anything in like a million years they never update they never listen to whatever we readers want in there they seem like they don't care and i think the reason why they never update or do anything is because they don't have any other competition until now we're going to be talking about other platforms that you can use like goodreads to update your reads to share with the community etc so we're gonna take a look on those and see are they really good? Are they really bad? Is it actually worth to change? Let's get into that. <laughs> the new couple of apps that I've seen is one, and I think the ones that's been taking everything is Book Slot. Number one, cutest name ever. I love slots. It looks, it looks so adorable and cute. If you really just want something that looks cute, just stop it to Book Slot. It's the cutest cutest app everywhere. I like the way that you can organize your books in there. You can just like click and drag everywhere you want your book so you can actually just organize it however you want. You have the view of just like the covers and the really well organized. In Goodreads you have the lists which if you don't love that about Goodreads then maybe think about making that change. I'm gonna tell you the stuff that I feel like it's really important for me at least when looking through these apps. Uh, one, the rating system. How are we rating our books? It's very important to me. Two, the books that are available. I have noticed that every single thing that you can possibly imagine is on Goodreads, but I have not found some of the books that I've been reading, especially because I always like to go into new authors that are just coming out. Um, they are not always in book slots, so something to think about maybe. Uh, people on the platform as well, and I'm talking about authors and reviewers as well. And then, of course, the interface. I think why a lot of people, <laughs> um, I think why a lot of people really don't want to leave Goodreads. One, 
it's a tedious thing well kind of a tedious thing you have to go to another place create an account export your books from goodreads import your books that is really easy but still is work to do so anyway um, number two, the writers. You can actually follow a lot of writers like um, Stephen King, which has not been active in a really long time, but you can follow him. Um, <laughs> Rick Riordan, who always is there, like adding some new stuff. George R. R. Martin and many, many others. So you can actually follow people there. And a lot of writers are in that platform because, like I said, up till now, it's the only platform that we had. So if you're interested in that, of course, Goodreads has that and also I feel like whenever you want to link that account into anything else like Netgalley or any other place where you want to get ARCs and they will ask you more likely than not for a Goodreads account because again it's just what we had so I don't know maybe we will be seeing of course a big change into this now that we have more platforms I also saw something else that I love these and I'm going to share with you because it's so beautiful. It is called the story graph dot. I love this because this is kind of set for you to find a book depending on your mood, um, the emotion. So for example, uh, you get like emotional, reflective, slow paced, all of those. So depending on what you're looking for, what you are in the mood for, you get those. Of course, they also give you like fiction, classics, romance, etc. The story graph, I feel like is looks very minimalistic and classic it's just black and white it looks really beautiful you have the list but i like that the list that they give you and just look really slick they just look slick they look beautiful and you get all of the things that you need in there you get the cover you also get the pages and then when it was published so i feel like that is a really minimalistic way if you just want to find the book that you need i don't know if i will keep this to like keep my ratings and my reviews and all of that but maybe just whenever i'm feeling for the mood of something you can just search there and it will give you the results you can just put in like your preferences what kind of books you like and it will give you recommendations as well what do you guys think are you going to be in book slot i feel like why now we need to give it a little bit of time some people have discovered this but it's not as big as goodreads because not a lot of people know about this now i feel like if we get more and more people into this platform it could work and also we can make it more of a mainstream thing where we can get reviewers in there i like the goodreads has like top reviewers i follow them i read the reviews i like that there's a lot of stuff that i like about goodreads a lot of people don't like the way that the interface looks like i said story graph looks beautiful super sleek and modern when you go into goodreads it's been there like this forever you have not changes in there like they never updated the platform but i like that it works kind of like a facebook thing first reader where you can just go into the home and just look at everyone's status what is everyone reading i like to know i'm no i really really nosy like that <laughs> like i just want to know what you're reading your ratings all of that if you have friends and you want to know like what they're up to and also it's a beautiful place it's just so easy to click the button to want to read and just like that you have that i did don't loud book slot and I tried to use it for a little while my biggest problem with it is that it doesn't have enough books again you can request for them to put it on there but I've done that I don't have any results yet and I did this months ago when I couldn't find a book the area of galvanized by wilder page I put it in there it was not there and it tells you to suggest a book I did that I suggested the book I wrote it and nothing so i don't people are saying that goodreads doesn't pay a lot of attention to its users but i tried to use this and i don't feel like they are doing that either also i feel like this is such a ya thing if you just read ya and you just read like whatever it's really popular at the moment maybe i don't know and i feel like the people that are in here are more like ya books because whenever you see like community reads all of these are the most popular YA books right now, so do we really want that? I know I don't, 
like you might know, I am really trying to diversify my read. For me, for all of those reasons, I'm keeping up with Goodreads, but if you have any other recommendations, please let me know. Also, what are you guys thinking about these? Because I never even thought like that I didn't like Goodreads. I never had a complaint about it. So when I saw all of these people on Twitter coming with the pitchforks, I was like, what is going on? And apparently it's just because it's owned by Amazon. I don't know if I'm gonna use Storygraph because uh, just like why would I want to use two separate systems doesn't make any sense to me. I am getting everything that I honestly need and want from Goodreads but I do want to hear from you guys what do you think on all of these like other platforms coming out are you excited for them are you going to be on them are you going to completely ignore them are you going to even give them a try i would like to know your opinion on this so please let me know down below thank you so much for watching this video if you made it that far i love you so so much i do really appreciate every single one of you guys that watch my videos that comment that like um that are subscribed to my channel thank you thank you so much and i will see you my beautiful book dragons on my next video bye